Hey, it's me, Kev, and this is my vlog, my mental health vlog. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this week is a week of me kind of dealing with the grief of losing my uh, dog, Okami. Um, I lost her last week, and uh, I'm kind of going through the grief process this week, and I found a lot of the week, I have this, this, uh, wall of tears that needs to come out and a lot of emotions that need to be felt and what I was doing this week was just kind of releasing the pressure a little bit out of a time um, and keeping myself distracted and occupied and then taking breaks to feel a little bit until I get overwhelmed and then be active again um, in doing that through the week um, I, I was very scared as to what was going to happen to me without Okami. And um, through this week, I try to build something of a routine because my routine was based around my dog Okami. And so it felt like this week, my routine was a deck of cards, nice and neat. And someone just went Psh! and flung them all up in the air and I'm trying to pick them up. Um, I, don't, I don't solidify really my routine this week. It's going to take a couple weeks or maybe even months to put together a new routine. Um, I just spend this week coping and letting little bits of emotion out at a time while I'm also trying to be active and social. And um, So if this is your first time watching this vlog, uh, my name is Kev and I am an artist, a singer-songwriter, a mental health peer specialist and advocate. And I use this vlog to show what I do personally to cope with my various disorders, those being schizoaffective disorder, which for me is a combination of bipolar one and um, schizophrenia. Um, I also have a CPTSD, which is complex PTSD, and I have inattentive ADD and sometimes I lose my thoughts. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the vlog and uh, helps me keep going and doing stuff. Um, any links that I mention or, or um, different things that I might mention, I'll often put links in the description below so you guys can go check those out. Um, I really appreciate all the support that comes from this vlog. Um, what works for me doesn't work for everybody. And uh, I like to try new coping skills to see if they work for me. And if they do, I implement them into my day. And if they don't work for me, I toss them aside. <laughs> and I might try them again another day. Um, so um, thanks for tuning in. I was just waving to a friend. And um, be sure to check out all the stuff. <laughs> and I'm going to rewind you back to a difficult week um, and it's the end of the week I made it through safely um, but it is still my heart is very heavy and I am still very sad um, and still coping so I'm gonna rewind you back to Monday and I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog and thanks for tuning in and again for all your support Carry my load when I'd nothing in to lose. A long forgotten miles of tourist trials wore away and weathered my blues. Now I've got nothing left but dreaming to do. Happy Monday. Um, it's a very different atmosphere here, um, starting out the morning. Um, normally I get up and feed the dog and take her out, and that starts my routine, and my dog wakes me up. And um, Today I didn't have that. I'm finding it very difficult to sleep um, alone. 
as I'm going to sleep, I keep reaching over for her, uh, my dog, and she's not there anymore. Um, and I'm used to waking, starting my routine with the dog and, um, and the sounds of the dog and caring for the dog, and she's not here today. So I'm gonna try to go through my routine. Um, I did get up a little while ago and I made some coffee. I've been having my coffee and comedy and it's been overly quiet here. Um, and I'm doing a lot of staring off into, into space. Um, I did a little chatting this morning with my friend Kayla and my friend Jocelyn. Um, and that was helpful. And I woke up and I was kind of, I guess, in shock. I didn't know what my, how I was feeling uh, because everything feels different. Um, my day, starting my day, feels very different. And um, my heart is still very heavy. So um, I'm gonna do a little more coffee and comedy and try to settle back down. And then I'm gonna um, jump into my routine, take my meds and try to go for a walk and take a shower. So um, my hands are a little shaky. Um, my pain level is feeling okay. I'm not in too much pain today. Maybe because I slept on the bed the last two nights. Um, all right, I'll check in later. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm out for the final part of my routine. Um, my routine's been hard this morning because it's different. Um, it used to really revolve around caring for my dog. And I'm finding I'm just sitting there, staring out the window, disassociating. Uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm not really disassociating. I'm just lost in my mind and uh, I'm having a very difficult time. I'm glad I don't have to go to the store because I feel very teary. There's a lot of tears in me that need to come out and I find that I'm afraid to let it out because When I let it out, I'm really gonna feel the hurt and I don't want to. Um, so I'm just leaking tears slowly all day. Um, I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. I didn't wanna go for my walk and I didn't wanna do my routine today because I don't have a routine. It feels like, I mean, I do, it's just very different. And change is hard for me. Changing my routine is difficult. So, uh, I feel like if left to my own, I will just sit in my room and stare off and feel sad all day. And I don't know if that's what I want or what I don't want. I don't know if that's healthy or not. So I'm not sure what comes next. Hey. 
Well, the walk didn't make me feel better at all. Um, but I did it. Um, so that's something I can pat myself on the back for. Is made it through my routine. Um, and uh, don't know what I'm going to do from here on out. And, uh, I can't think of the things that I normally do. Uh, a lot of them have to do with the dog. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I guess I'll check in. I, I kind of want to lay down and go to sleep. Um, but I'm not going to. Um, that would just be hiding. Yeah, I'm going to go try to see what I can do. I need to eat. I haven't eaten. I just remembered. So that will be a goal of mine. Just get something in my belly. Okay. Just checking in. Uh, it's about 2 p.m. Um, I did uh, some blog work and then I've been watching Critical Role and um, I belong to a Discord server um, called Wicked Cool Kids and um, I've been jumping on there and looking at D&D stuff and um, it's been keeping me a little occupied. Um, I just lost all my thoughts. Um, I still don't have a plan. I started to set up art and bring out my art supplies and then I stopped halfway through and picked up the guitar and put it back down and um, I'm a little confused with how to do my day. I let some tears out. I've just been kind of staring out the window for most of the day. And, uh, I'm trying to let some tears out. And, uh, I'm getting worked up. And, uh, um, and I, it's like I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm taking my own advice, um, which is to say I'm just going to try to do a coping skill that works sometimes. Um, and I have the windows open and to kind of lighten the atmosphere. Um, and I'm going to light my uh, scented candle from Cape House and that they sent the other day. Um, I'm setting up my art area and putting my supplies here. Because with uh, ADD, it's good to keep things right at hand. So I'll be working here, and I can just reach and grab my guitar there. And if I need a different tuning guitar, they're right there. And then if I feel inspired to do art, it's right here next to my workplace. And all I have to do is pin this back and hang up my stuff. So I'm feeling good about that. I'm playing music, my morning playlist. Um, I was gonna do my art playlist, but it was a little too high energy for my mood. So I put on my morning playlist and I don't want to, but I'm singing along as much as I can. Um, I'm not in the mood for singing, um, but it's it stopped me from crying. <laughs> um, this is what has stopped me from crying. Um, so I'm just kind of doing this and that and changing around little bits of my room because I don't want to jump into any projects or anything. Um, and then listening to music and trying to sing whenever I can. And uh, singing is a good breathing exercise and it also just lifts my mood. So um, it really feels like Okami's here with me, um, which is very difficult. Um, Hello. Um, so I was doing work and 
I lost my internet connection. Um, and I was trying to do a big upload. So I used my phone hotspot and, um, and I didn't want to use any internet besides the upload. So I was kind of sitting here, there was no music playing and uh, it was quiet and I wasn't doing great. So I went and visited my buddy Jeff and hung out with him for a little while. And uh, I feel a little better, a little more motivated. Um, I'm, I'm carrying my glasses around today in case I get teary. I can just walk around like this. Um, and so my plan is, I th I'm thinking about doing some art now that I have it all set up. Um, and get something to eat. I had an Ensure. And that went down okay. Uh, but now I'm thinking about some real food. Um, but that's it. I'm still trying to get connected to the internet too. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Um, okay. I'll check in later. My mood. Oh. Because uh, it's, it's hard to say what it is. Um, I, like I said, I'm a little more motivated to take steps forward um, where I just didn't want to do anything before. Um, but I, I'm not at Safe and Social where I can go out and, and put on a Safe and Social sort of mask and say things are okay. Um, I think I'll, I will get there because I do want to go to an open mic tonight. I think that'll be a good distraction for me um, to get out there and perform. Um, that's kind of my goal, is to get to a place where I feel like, all right, I can go out and be in front of people and perform. It's actually easier for me to be on stage and perform than it is to be at the bar not on stage because then I have to talk to people. <laughs> I'd rather, if any place in the bar that you could give me um, to go, it would be on stage. <laughs> um, okay, that, that's just where I feel the most safe social. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm gonna do some art. I'm not sure what yet. I might do some improv and maybe make some videos or something. I'm not sure. I was also thinking about picking up guitar, so who knows what's gonna happen. Hello vlog. Um, so I set up my art area. I even pulled back the curtain, the quilt and set up everything. And I found that I don't have painter's tape to outline my border with, and I really like to have that. So maybe I'll pick that up during the week. Um, so I decided to pivot and switch to guitar. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I guess it would be good. Um, it'd be good to warm up and um, so I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna hop on YouTube and um, and maybe just play some guitar and see what happens. Um, my mood is just chugging along. I'm distracting myself with things really. Um, I've been feeling a lot today and processing a lot. I've had a lot of time to do that, but I don't wanna do that all day. Um, so I'm just taking a break from that, really. Uh, okay. Hey, so I was headed to the open mic and I walked by and I didn't really see anything happening. But then I saw a musician go in there, so I think I'm gonna walk by again and actually go in this time <laughs> and see if it's happening. I'm feeling like I really just kinda wanna go home and watch some Critical Role. I'm not as enthused about playing music. Um, I think it has to do with social anxiety. Um, I'm also kind of emotional and I don't like, I feel nervous being out in public when I'm so emotional. So I don't know, we'll see. I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, I made it to the open mic. Good time, but it's in 
Well, I did the open mic and I had a good time. Um, there's a Cabot Theater behind me. <laughs> um, I did three songs. What did I do? First song I did was Daniel Johnston's True Love Will Find You in the End. And the, the, the sound was a little off on my end, not by the sound guy. He did a great job. But I messed with some of the knobs on my guitar and the sound, the guitar didn't sound right. So it took the first song to adjust but it sounded good enough. I'm just picky. Um, the second song I did was my original called Cold Ground. And I played it so damn fast. It was like boom, 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 do, 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 so um, that was okay, but I wanted to redeem myself. And so my last song, I played Allman Brothers' Whipping Post and it sounded really good. That's kind of my song, my go-to song if I want to kind of knock the socks off the room, you know? Um, and, but I kind, of, <coughs> I kind of blew my voice out a bit doing it because I hadn't done it in a while. Uh, feeling okay. I wasn't so social while I was there. I was very quiet and I didn't talk to anybody unless they talked to me and my responses were pretty brief. So I just wasn't feeling super social. Um, so I'm gonna go home and uh, try to relax a bit and that's about it. Good morning. Um, happy to, is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, I got up and I've been having my coffee and comedy, but I've been watching skateboarding because it's the Olympic trials and the, um, the world finals. So it's pretty cool to watch and it's been making me want to skateboard. Um, well, look at that. Um, today I'm, I'm having a up and down morning kind of bouncing around um, but I got up you know at a good time at about six and um, and I was an alarm clock for my neighbor Jeff whose phone isn't working so I went down and woke him up and uh, so now I'm just having some coffee watching some skateboarding and trying to get into my routine today um, texting with some friends and what the day has in store. I am going to a photo shoot today. Um, and I'm gonna, yeah, get some photos taken. <laughs> um, which I think will be fun. And um, I'm looking forward to that. So I'm gonna travel from here into Boston and then to one of the neighborhoods uh, called Somerville. And we're gonna do some shoot. We were gonna shoot in Salem. But Salem in October is like Mardi Gras for the whole month. It's just crowds and crowds of people in costume and for the whole month. And you can't get in and out and it's really difficult. And it would be some really cool photos, you know, with uh, all the people in costumes, but how often am, am I gonna use those? <laughs> uh, just once a year. So um, yeah, we're gonna go do some photos today. I also have a social worker meeting, and um, I, I think I'll get to see some friends and stuff, so it should be a good day. Um, really missing Okami today, and uh, it makes me teary. Um, last night was hard. It's hard to go to bed without her. Um, she takes up so much of the bed, and for the last 10 years, you know, because she doesn't lay normal, it looks like, you know, she would lay right here at the end, but when it's bedtime, she goes into the middle and lays this way. And so you have to like lay around her. 
So it's very awkward now, and I was kind of starfishing in bed and uh, spreading out, but I think I need to get a body pillow or something because as I'm falling asleep, I instinctively reach over to put my hand on her and she's not there and then I get upset and I'm very sad. So some sort of pillow or something that I can reach over and put my hand there. Um, okay, I'll talk to you later. I'm taking my shower, you can't come in. Hello, so I don't even remember where I left off last time on the vlog. Um, so I'll just recap what I did recently. Um, after my, after my routine, um, which I'm counting this as my walk, <laughs> um, I had a meeting with a social worker because last week I missed some appointments because I didn't feel comfortable leaving Okami at home. And so she helped me reschedule those and uh, also work on some other things, putting different things in motion to get my life together. Um, and after that, um, that's it. And then I'm just coming out here to catch the train and gonna head to Somerville and uh, do a photo shoot. So I did bring my, um, CPTSD workbook with me so I could kind of just review that on the train. I'm not going to read it, but I just kind of want to give it a good look over. I'll probably read it um, on the train and something for the train ride back. I'm not going to work in it yet because I thought I would do that on video and uh, see if that's helpful. <laughs> um, I never know what's helpful for people. Um, and uh, it, it, if it's helpful for me, I figure, then maybe it's helpful for someone else. That's, that's how I go, because uh, I'm not that unique. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just gonna chill out here for the train. Totally forgot my headphones, but my brain, uh, I don't know, I think my, the music today, I haven't been listening to music because it keeps making me reflect back on memories and I don't, I'm trying to keep my brain occupied, stay active, and have in-between moments where I'm processing and taking some time to reflect, think about Okami, think about holding her and what she felt like, things like that, and then I start to get a little, you know, worked up, and then I kind of go back to my task and uh, take little breaks to visit Okami in my mind, in my heart. Well, the train that I want to take, the subway, is not running. And I gotta try to see if I can find a bus. Oh boy. Hey, so I'm um, gonna take the bus. That bus driver had some crazy skills, really good. She, she had to go through all these obstacles and stuff, and uh, that was pretty impressive. But I got off, um, I think, um, two stops early, and I wanna grab a cup of coffee.
<laughs> All right. Oh, there's a Dunks right here. I can go to Dunks. Wherever you look in Boston, there's a Dunks. Hey, so I got my Dunks. I'm in Central Square. This is my outfit. Got some Johnny Cash. Uh, <laughs> And um, we're just taking a quick break and getting something to drink. And then we're going to walk around and find some spots. So my mood is good. My pain level is pretty high. And I'm going to do a lot of walking. So hopefully uh, that'll go down. People are in their own world. They're so, they're so, some people are so selfish. They just don't understand the only reason to love, how, the only way they find the meaning of love is being compassionate. It's how, it's how you treat passion, compassion like Hey, so we're in Harvard Square, and this is the pit in Harvard Square. And uh, when I was a teenager, um, I used to live here. I was there was a group of runaways and homeless teens and stuff like that. And so this is the spot that we used to live called the pit, and we were called pit rats. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Hey, so we're in Harvard Square. I got different clothes on and um, we're doing photo shoot and stuff. Um, this is in Harvard Square where um, Harvard University is over here. And uh, behind me is a park. And when I was a teenager um, and I was homeless, I lived in this park for a while. And eventually, I got a job under the counter at a pizza place back here and I got into a shelter at a church and from the church I joined the army but this is the park where I used to sleep and, um, and I would play guitar for people passing by make some money eventually my guitar got stolen from me while I was sleeping um, which was kind of a bummer and was one of the catalysts of me joining the army um, there were a couple of catalysts, but um, yeah, I'm having a good time. My pain level is starting to go down, but we just took a rest. So I've been having fun just we're walking around and um, going, oh, that spot looks good. Let's do that. And I jump over and take some pictures and we keep walking and just finding lots of cool spots. So um, this is Harvard Square. Hello. So I'm in Somerville now. And um, we hung out at the house at for a while. Kayla stopped by, and then um, I just got my coffee and my bag of clothes. And when I head to the subway, I'm taking a longer way home. Loud trucks. I'm taking a longer way home because some of the subway is shut down. Hello, so, um, yeah, part of the subway is not running, so I had to walk from Inman Square to Central Square, which is, I don't know, like a 20 minute walk. And um, then I gotta take this red line to the orange line, and take the orange line to the commuter rail that goes to my house, so. I left at 6.30, let's see what time I get home. Hello, so, I made it here to North Station. Now I got it like, um, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes before my train. So uh, I'm just hanging out here, watching the people walk by and enjoying the lights. And I can't wait, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's a fun day, but I've been tired. Hello, so I made it home. 
and it is 9.30, but um, I did spend the last 15 minutes visiting with, uh, 20 minutes visiting with Jeff, so I came home and then went right downstairs to visit him and check in and stuff like that. So now I'm here, I'm going to uh, probably make something to eat and have something to drink and relax to some critical role and I'm looking forward to bed time. It looks like for some reason I dumped all my clothes on my bed so I must have been searching for something for the photo shoot. Barely remember. <laughs> so uh, I think that'll be it for Tuesday and I'll see you Wednesday morning. My mood my mood is okay. Uh, it was nice being out and distracted all day. And, but not only was I distracted, but I was with uh, Amanda and we talked about Okami often. And uh, that was very nice. So um, I, enjoy, I enjoy walking around the city with Amanda. We've done that many times. And uh, we walk at the same pace, although my sciatica was killing me today. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take a hot shower, have something to eat, and then watch some Critical Role and head to bed. And because my pain level is pretty high. Okay, <laughs> good night. Hello, happy Wednesday. I got up to make my coffee and realized I didn't have any milk. So I had to go pick up some milk. And, uh... My pain level is really high this morning, so I'm walking really slowly, and uh, I'm in my pajamas, <laughs> but that's okay. It's about nine in the morning, and um, I have a meeting at 11, the tune foolery, so I'm gonna go have my coffee and comedy. Hey, so um, I've been kind of up and down this morning, uh, a little teary, and it's very quiet here. Uh, I've been having internet issues, so every time I try to watch my critical role, it freezes up and stuff. I don't know, it might be the construction. Sometimes it happens here. So it's been a quiet morning, just kind of sitting here. Um, I went through a tune foolery business meeting, and that was good, and I decided to... Um, turn over and let go of my role as the social media person uh, because I haven't been able to do it the last couple of months. My, my mind has been so fragmented and forgetful and um, so I haven't made that many posts and things for the organization and um, I felt they were kind of suffering for it and I feel like it would be good to have it taken off my plate for a little while because I'm a little overwhelmed with what I have going just for me. So, um, But I did tell them that I'm looking forward to doing more shows and being um, more a part of the community um, now that I can go out and do things more. Um, but I, I found since Okami's passing up until today, I found it very comforting to see videos of Okami on my, you know, kind of reviewing my vlog just so I could see videos of her. And today I'm finding it's very hard to see those videos. And so, um, that's a little change. Um, whereas it was very comforting to think of her and imagine petting her and things. Today, that's a little hard to do. It makes me emotional. Um, I have several thoughts for the day. One of them was to um, either, but they both take me out of the house um, and get me out doing things. I kind of just want to sit here and do nothing. 
Um, that's the mood I'm in right now. I kind of woke up at a zero and, uh, and just been staying around there. <laughs> and um, I, I wouldn't say I'm a zero now, I'd say I'm about a three or four. Um, so I'm gonna have to go through a little fight or flight this morning and some dysregulation. Um, so I was thinking either I might go to Salem because Salem in October is really fun and um, the whole month of October. And then, or I might go into Boston again to the Toon Foolery open mic that happens um, live and in person um, once a month. My thoughts with that though is that I just spent all day walking around Boston yesterday. And if I go today, it would be a lot of walking and I would end up having to spend the night at my Kayla and Amanda's house. And I don't know if I want to be away from my tools, my, my coping tools that long. Um, I like being here where I have lots of expressional outlets and ways that I can cope. So um, I'll likely stay here today. It's, that's where my thoughts are leaning. If my mood goes up and I feel adventurous, maybe I'll go out. Um, so I'm about to have a FaceTime with my friends Kayla and Amanda, and we're going to talk about the cremation process and um, ordering the ashes and things like that. Um, which is probably going to make me sad. Um, so I'm about to do, do, do that now. And I'm almost done with my routine. Um, I just need to take a shower and go for a walk. And I think when I go for a walk, I might go by the thrift store and just see. I haven't been there in a while. And just kind of see what's going on there. See if there's anything new. Um, there are some things that I'd like to order online. Um, so I'm going to check about those too. Um, I have this little Yamaha guitar that I bought at the thrift store for $3 and I've polished it up and really fixed it up. Um, I think it's going to sound really nice. So I want to get some, uh, um, tuning things for here and tuning things for here, put some strings on it and it'll be a nice little travel guitar that I can take to the beach or take to the woods and just kind of throw it on my back like a bard. And uh, so, I don't know, we'll see if I have enough for that today. And that would be a nice little surprise. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get ready to do my FaceTime and then continue with my routine. And I'm really, I'm trying to be hopeful that my mood is going to go up and I'm gonna feel good about the day. Um, and I'm also trying to think if Okami was here with me and she'd be laying over there on the bed, what would I be doing? Because I wouldn't be sitting here staring out the window. Um, I would be either laying with her or I would be planning my day and thinking of something productive to do. So I'm kind of keeping it like, if Okami was here, what productive, happy things would I do today? And try to do those things. So that's what, that's kind of my mission for the day. and. To continue coping through this grief is to just keep putting my feet in front of the other um yeah and kind of like what would i be doing if okami was sitting there sleeping um and that's my mindset hello i'm out for the last part of my routine took my shower now i'm out for my walk i'm gonna go to the thrift store and uh, just because it's fun, um, I'm wearing the clothes that I was modeling in yesterday. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go to the hardware store to get some painter's tape. And um, so I can start doing some art. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice out. I forgot my sunglasses, but I'm kind of waiting to start sneezing. The sun's facing behind me, so I haven't started sneezing. But it's nice out. I brought my cane because my pain level is a little high. My mood is um, kind of heavy-hearted, and um, but it's I'm kind of above fight or flight. And uh, I visited with Jeff, and then he got me laughing, and uh, I kind of got up to safe and social. I'm very tired though today. 
think yesterday really wore me out running around Boston, Somerville, Cambridge and stuff. So my body hurts and I'm very tired. Um, so, okay. Hello, so it is eight o'clock at night and um, I don't even remember what my last vlog episode was, but um, I think I was coming in and they had lots of plans for the day. I was gonna do open mic or go to Salem or something. And um, I sat down and I, my body just was hurting so much that I decided to lay down for a little while and I slept all day. <laughs> I just was knocked out in deep, deep sleep. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I did get some painter's tape so I can do art, but I'm probably gonna be up all night. <laughs> I don't think I'll fall back asleep at 8 o'clock, so um, we'll see what, what happens and what I do. My mood is it's fairly safe and social, except that I'm like, ah, what am I going to do? And my pain level is kind of high because I slept so long, but I'm pretty sure that that will go away. Um, so we'll find out what I'm going to do here soon. So, um, since I slept a lot of the day, um, well, it wasn't a lot of the day, so I slept from, what, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., so I got some good sleep, it wasn't the whole day. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight, so what I did was, um, I got up, um, I had some chili, get some good bits, I love chili for protein, it's just all protein, and, uh, made me feel good. I took a shower, made some coffee, and I'm watching some Critical Role over here. Um, so it's kind of like starting the day again. Um, but at now it's almost 10 o'clock at night. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to go to sleep, most likely, because if I can, that would put my sleep schedule back on schedule. Um... So I'm probably going to lay down and see if I can go to sleep. If I can't, then I might stay up and do some artwork or uh, pull this quilt back and set up my art and do some artwork or something to make me tired. Maybe go for a walk or go. There's lots of things I could do. I could go to the parking garage and play guitar. Uh, so I'm not too worried, uh, but I am going to try to get some sleep because if I could, and then I wake up in the morning nice and early and refreshed and my sleep schedule will be, will be back on track. So, um, all right, so that's my plan moving forward. My mood is feeling good. I feel up and safe and social. After my shower, um, my pain level went down. And so my pain level is really low right now. Um, so that feels nice. Mm -hmm. um, I'll check in later, unless I go to bed. If the next clip is me tomorrow morning, that means I went to bed. <laughs> no, it's dark, sweetheart. Hey vlog, um, so I got up and jumped into my routine, <laughs> there's some noise in the background, sorry. Um, got up and I had therapy and I kind of had forgotten about it, I actually thought it was, to, I had it on the calendar for tomorrow. So my therapist called me and said hey, and uh, so I got up and I had therapy and that was good. I got to kind of, I was very sleepy <laughs> and was just having a, my first cup of coffee, but um, I got to talk about what's been going on a little bit the last couple of weeks. This is only my second session with um, this therapist. So um, she's still learning about me and we're doing an initial get to know you. Um, but since we had this happen with Okami passing and stuff, a lot of the time was spent checking in on my symptoms and how I've been doing and my plans for the future. So it made me feel good. It was a good way to start the day. Uh, and she seems like a very good therapist that I can work with. 
Um, after that, I jumped into my Discord with Wicked Cool Kids and have been chatting um, about random things and a lot of D&D talk, which is nice for me. And I'm still in there with them, so let's see if they want to say hi. Haha, <laughs> this will be fun. Hey everybody, can you hear me? I'm, I'm on my vlog, do you guys want to say hi? Hello, vlog. <laughs> That's the Wicked Cool Kids. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> be back in a minute. <laughs> Uh, so that's them, and we have a good time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're still laughing. Um, it, was, it was a good time talking D&D &D this morning, so. Uh, I'm just going to continue with my routine now from here, and take a shower and go for a walk. Kind of did a weird thing this morning. Um, I miss taking Okami out in the morning. And I'm just kind of reliving it, you know? I don't know why. Um, after I was talking with the cool kids, <laughs> um, they're a great support system for me as well. Um, I just, uh, I feel Okami around and I miss my routine with her. And I felt like I really missed the part of getting up and even though I don't want to, coming out here in the morning and um, because I don't really want to be out here. But I just wanted to relive getting in the elevator, coming out here, and um, I was gonna go see Jeff. And normally I would take her to come see Jeff. We would come out here and I'd say, okay, do you go poops? <laughs> and then um, she'd do her thing. I would vlog check in and then we'd go up to see Jeff. So that's what I'm gonna do now is um, it's sad. Um, so now I'm going to go see Jeff. So I'm out for the last part of my routine. Uh, I'm going for a walk and I'm just going for a quick walk. Um, I want to get some more coffee beans. Um, but then I want to get back to do a, uh, tune foolery check-in. Um, where we kind of just check in and with each other, see how we're all doing and keeps us in touch with each other and stuff. Um, and that would be nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with the, the day after that. I have some ideas. Um, so my mood is feeling safe and social. Uh, I'm still very heavy hearted. Um, It's been a busy day. I just did my tune foolery check-in and that was good and my internet cut out at the end. So I got it up and working again. And now I'm going to do, um, I think I'm gonna do muscle music. I need to check the schedule. Cause I think I thought it was Wednesday and it's actually Thursday. So, um, and I'm gonna get something to eat cause I need to eat something. Um, so that's the plan. Check my schedule, put something in my belly. And, um, I'm feeling very sad and just trying to work through it. Um, constantly distracting my thoughts. Okay, so I figured out my schedule. I'm going to do a nervous system regulation check-in with muscle music. That'll be good for me today because I really, it'll help me check in with myself, like the title says. Um, I do that often, but this is a, more of a deeper check-in and I'm doing it with other people. It's just a different experience, and it's, I find it very helpful. Um, that starts in five minutes. I'm gonna kinda clean up this kitchen. It was so clean and now it's dirty again, so I'm gonna kinda clean up here and try to eat a banana. Uh, I got interrupted. So I'm gonna clean up here and eat a banana, and I need to charge my phone because my battery's dying apparently. <laughs> okay. Um, check in later, I guess. Hello, so, um, it's been a day of meetings today. And after my last meeting, I laid down for a little bit. And, um, I just had something to eat and now just taking a little breather. 
having some peace and quiet and um, I'm gonna go, it's Thursday, so I'm gonna go to the Toon Foolery open mic in about 15 minutes, it's quarter to six. Um, the Toon Foolery, blah, 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 blah. Toon Foolery open mic happens every week online and um, you can get the link to the Zoom meeting at toonfoolery.org. I put it in the description below. Hey, so I went to, I'm looking for my shoes. One, two, looking for my shoes. Um, I went to the Toon Foolery open mic and that was good. There was a good amount of people there and we all shared songs. What songs did I do? Um, I did Inspired, which was a song um, that I wrote uh, original for Okami the dog. And if you see it, if you see, um, it's on my album and um which is on youtube and if you watch the song on youtube it's just all pictures of me and okami when she was kind of younger um so i played that and it was the first time i could play it in the last couple days without tearing up and and actually sing the words and i felt really good singing it and i felt close with okami and happy singing it and everybody at the open mic knows Okami because she's always snoring in the background. And they know that that's her song. So when I finished and I kind of opened my eyes <laughs> and everybody was crying. And I was like, oh no. And, uh, <laughs> and then um, my second song, the, it had gone around, everybody did a song and everyone was doing these sad songs. So I decided to lift things up and I did a song called Zombie Jamboree which um, comes from an original song called Jumbie Jamboree. And then the Kingston Trio did it as Zombie Jamboree. And then Rockapella did it too. And I, I thought, eh, it's Halloween kind of time. It's October. And it's a happy song. So um, I'll see if I can find a link to Zombie Jamboree. Because more, I want more people to know about that song. It's such a fun song. Um, it's a Calypso tune. So I'll find a link and I'll stick it below of somebody doing, probably Rockapella doing Zombie Jamboree. Um, so check it out below. I think you'll like it. It'll make you smile. Um, and it made the people smile and it, it changed the energy of the room and it became more upbeat. So that was good. Um, I feel like I've been home all day today in meetings, one after the other. Um, I had some Pop-Tarts, I had some chili. and um, But I've just been going, yeah, meeting after meeting. Um, so, and it's now 7.30 at night, so it's like, whoa, the day is done. Uh, I'm going to go check in on my neighbor Jeff's and see how he's doing. And then, uh, I would like to get something to eat for dinner. And tonight is Critical Role night, Thursday night, so, uh, I'm excited for that. And it looks like I need to do some dishes and do some cleaning up around here, too. Uh, but ooh, it's been a busy day. My mood is, it's uh, a little too high, um, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm up at Safe and Social because I've been social all day. But my, bri my brain has not settled. Um, I haven't settled down and relaxed in the day. I've just been doing one thing after another. Um, and I'll probably do that after I visit with Jeff, or as I visit with Jeff, too. He's very grounding for me uh, to hang out with. So and I feel like I'm in a little cloud, um, ignoring the world below me, um, which is thinking about Okami. Um, but, I mean, the day is just about done, and it was a pretty successful day. Um, it's the night times lately that are harder um, when it's quiet here. And it's hard to go to bed, so I'm not looking forward to, forward to those things. Uh, I'm getting hungry, though, so I'm going to get moving, and I'll check in later. So I had a good visit with Jeff. We were watching Thursday Night Football, Broncos, Kansas City. And um, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, my mood is good. We did some laughing and joking and stuff. And, um, yeah, that was nice. Uh, I'm out for a walk. 
and I haven't had ice cream in about a week so I was thinking about maybe getting some ice cream and then I'm gonna relax and try to just um, yeah maybe take a hot shower and relax have some ice cream and finish the night with Critical Role live um, I usually put a link down below if you want to know more about what the heck Critical Role is um, so um, yeah I'll probably check in before Critical Role just because it's nice to check in um, my mood is feeling okay um, my heart is a little lighter and been thinking about Okami a lot, but the thoughts are more positive in reflection than sad. Wow. So um, that's kind of nice. I'm thinking about good, nice things. And um, yeah, my heart feels a little lighter. My pain level is low. That's why I'm out for a walk. Finally got in a walk. Such a busy day. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello everyone, and welcome to the next episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerds voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so, that's how I'm going to end my evening. I got some ice cream here, and um some goldfish crackers. I'm gonna watch the first half of Critical Role and then head to bed. And I will see you tomorrow, which is Friday. The mood's feeling pretty good and I'm not in pain, so. Um, still a little sad, you know, still a good amount sad. Um, and my heart is a little lighter, I feel like. Um, all right, good night. Good morning. Um, happy. What day is it? Oh, it's Friday. Um, as you can see, it's been a tearful morning. Um, I got up and uh, made my coffee, and I just went back and visited some video of Okami photos and videos. I'm thinking a lot about her this morning and it's been difficult. Um, so I've had some coffee and I kind of want to stabilize because <laughs> um, it was getting too hard. So it's about, uh, it's about uh, 8.30 in the morning. I, I, I'm sorry if I'm being very quiet. Um, my plan is from here is to um, continue my routine. Um, I'm also going to do a um, work session with Kayla today. Um, and that will be good to check in with someone and uh, be in a Zoom meeting and do some work. And that'll be a good uh, distraction. Later on this afternoon, I have uh, jamming with Jeff, uh, which we usually do on Fridays. So, kind of want to work myself up the emotional ladder, and uh, my brain kind of just wants to sit in it and uh, and feel sad. Uh, I just want to feel sad and think about Okami, but I'm gonna try to continue through my routine. And yeah, that's what Okami would want. <laughs> um, I really miss bringing her out in the morning um, and doing my routine with her where I bring her out, bring her up here and feed her and then I lay down and give her her scratches and stuff. And so I'm missing that today. Uh, okay, keep going.
Say hi, I'm chatting with Kayla. We're having a work productivity meeting. And we're, are we being productive? Yeah, we're being productive. Just um, chatting about Okami. Um, that's productivity. I can't say that word very good. All right, Let's see you later. I had a nice meeting with Kayla. And um, we talked a lot about Okami because um, today the vlog came out um, d of the week 31 where I lost Okami. And so we had both watched it and we were talking about it and kind of processing it a little bit. And I find I'm talking quietly again. <laughs> I don't, it's a quiet here, so I'm talking like it's a library. Um, I did get a call from my landlord she wanted me to come down, so I went down, and she had got me, um, she had this made for me, um, which is a very nice picture of me and Okami, and, uh, that's us in her office, <laughs> and in the morning, when I would take Okami out, um, we would come back in, and then Okami would want to stop by her office and say hello to her, and then before we go back upstairs. Um, and that was never included in the vlog, but that was something we did every morning is stop by the office and say hi to the landlord. Um, and she's a nice woman. So, um, thank you for this. It means a lot. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, so right now I still haven't worked completely through my routine. The only thing I haven't done is taken a shower. So I'm going to work towards that and I'm going to do some cleaning around here today. Um, clean up my kitchen, try to take the trash out. Um, my mood is... I'm, I'm almost safe and social. Um, and... But I'm, I'm... I have a heavy heart. I can feel that. That's just the right word for it, is my heart feels heavy. I feel it right here, you know? And, um... Um... But I feel okay. I feel safe. I feel like I could be social. Um, I miss Okami today. And I'm thinking about her a lot. And, um, and I'm just going to move on with the day. What was I going to do? I went and visited Jeff. And um, hung out with him for a little while. And we talked about the jam we were going to have this afternoon and we called our friend to see if he was going to jam and he is so um i'm out for the last part of my routine which is my walk and i'm just taking a quick little walk to the store get some noodles <coughs> and um and then i'm gonna eat because uh, i'm kind of hungry and uh i just don't know what i want so um, noodles sound good um, my mood is fluctuating back and forth between really sad and um, distracted and joking with Jeff to reflective to you know just bouncing around here and there but it all feels I feel overall fairly stable and okay I just feel really sad um, so um, my plan is go for a walk, go home. Uh, I'm having some pain in my chest rib, you know, my chest plate issue that I have in my shoulder. I hope that goes away. But other than that, my, my hip is feeling good. So it feels good to walk. The sun feels good. It's a little too cold for just wearing a t-shirt, but I'm not going that far. Once I get in the shade, I'm gonna start shivering. Um, I'll check in later, maybe show you some of the rehearsal. It's not really a rehearsal, it's just us making a bunch of noise. <laughs> but it's fun. So it is uh, quarter at two. I'm gonna, I just had some ravioli and I'm going to take a quick power nap for an hour to quarter at three and three o'clock will be the jam, so. Um, I don't think I'm going to fall asleep. I just want to rest my body. 
Well, I had a jam with Jeff and Dan, and that rhymes. That's pretty cool. Um, and that was fun. And then we kind of sat around and talked for a while. Now it's dinner time. It's about 6.30. And I didn't get to, I never cleaned my apartment. So, um, I'm going to have to do that. Because I'm hungry and I want to eat, but I want to make something. So I need to clean my kitchen. And I did do the trash. So I didn't take it down, though. It's sitting over by the door. Um, so I have a little energy, but I'm also in pain. So I'm going to rest a bit, do a little dishes, and try to make some dinner. Um, my mood... My mood is kind of up and safe and social. And um, my mind is very distracted. Um, thinking about Okami, not thinking about Okami, distracting myself, things like that. I'm still doing that, kind of slowly letting out the steam. Um, and like I said, my pain level is kind of high, so I want to take it easy. All right, I'll check in later. Happy Saturday. Um, I got up about nine, eight or nine, and um, had my coffee, and I didn't watch any comedy. I was feeling pretty low and sad um, and um, I decided to do some video editing to kind of distract myself um, I tried Critical Role <laughs> my go-to but um, I was just staring out the window so I started video editing and um, I got a lot done and then I worked through my routine having my meds um, took a shower, um, I checked in with some friends, um, and I reviewed my week, which I usually do on Saturday, um, and I know there's a bunch of things, this is kind of my last, you know, I'm out for the last vlog of the week, and I had a whole list of things that I wanted to mention or talk about, and I really can't think of any of them because um, I was just getting ready to um, go out for this walk and the mail came and Okami's ashes arrived this, today um, just minutes ago and uh, I opened it up and you know it was addressed Okami Moore and uh, it's just, a, it's a very strange feeling, and uh, I, I, it's not something I've experienced before, so um, I'm really sad. Um, I spent most of this week distracting myself and slowly releasing the pressure of pain that was inside me. Um, sorry to mix metaphors, but I had a, I have a mountain of pain and a wall of tears ready to come out. And it, it feels like uh, I'm a pressure cooker and I'm just slowly releasing the steam. And all in all, I think I'm doing a lot better than I thought I was gonna do. Um, I'm super sad, but uh, I'm okay being sad. Um, it's kind of a feeling that I, I'm accustomed to, and um, so I'm just kind of sitting in it. And it's almost like when, you, when you're grieving the loss of someone, for me anyways, be it death or relationship or something, um, I find that I often want to hold on to that pain and I don't want to let that pain go because it feels like I'm letting that person or, or animal go. So I kind of cling to that pain. And, uh, so that's kind of what I'm going through a little bit is I can feel the pain lessening a little bit at the end of the week and I don't want to let it go. 
and I'm not really ready to. And I really haven't released all the tears that I need to and uh, because I feel like um, releasing it all at once will be too overwhelming and uh, and when you release all those tears at once you have to really feel all that pain and uh, I'm not ready for that yet so I'm just going a little bit at a time until I feel like I'm at a level where I can just sit and cry and think about Okami and wish that she was here and just really feel it. Um, I can tell it's the end of the week and I've just been li letting a little bit out and I haven't really truly felt it. I still feel like she's here and um, I'm in the position now where I need to put my routine back together in a new way and I haven't had a lot of success this week doing that. Um, I really feel like my routine is um, up in the air and it hasn't landed into the deck of cards that I want it to. So hopefully that'll start to work in a process where um, I'll find something that works one morning and I'll go, okay, I'm gonna work that into my routine and start doing that and then I'll find something else that works and I'll add that in and just slowly build a new routine. It's probably gonna take a while. Um, so I'm gonna leave you here for the week. Still heavy hearted, still tearful days and missing Okami. Um, and I'm just getting through it. Um, thanks for watching and for all your support. I know there's a bunch of things that I want to mention, people that have helped, and I don't know. Um, hopefully, check the description below, and I'll put it whatever links or information I wanted to mention below. <laughs> I always put different. I try to put different links to things I mention below, as well as the same old ones too. <laughs> um, all right. Thanks for watching, and. Um, Thank you. Bye-bye.